This video talks you through the use of the Protostar interactive dashboard. On your survey, you would have your logo up here on the left hand side. If you are in your first year of working with Protostar, down at the bottom here, you will have four tabs. Dashboard one, that is your primary dashboard that drives all of the others. Your employee net promoter score in detail, headlines and overview. If you have more than one survey with us, you will also have a year-on-year -year tab and a year-on-year -year top changes tab. So for now, we are looking at a single year and what you see in front of you is the responses to each and every one of the statements and questions within the survey in both a graphical and tabular manner. In the table, you have the, the mode highlighted there in grey you mean, median, standard deviation, your spread of responses. With the histogram, you can see the mean average again, but also you see a dotted line. That is the 3.95 target that we suggest that you aspire to. And because these ones here that you're seeing are considerably lower than 3.95, statistically significantly lower, we have put up some guidance here to, to tell you whether that's a good, bad or average score and we've put immediate priority because it was so low. This one here, which scored above 3.95, says strong engagement and we can agree with you what terms you would like to appear to guide you as to whether that was a good or an average or a poor rating. Now at the moment we're seeing this for everybody within the organisation who responded. But if we go up to the filters at the top, so for instance uh, gender, we can select on a uh, females to go on the left and we can choose males to appear on the right. We could also then say we only want female managers to appear and we want to compare them to male managers. And we can use as many of those filters as you like, as long as it doesn't take you below seven uh, responses, at which point the charts would go blank. That's to protect people's anonymity. But at the moment we have two filters, that's female managers uh, on the left, male managers on the right. So what do we see here? Well, firstly, we have the data in both graphical and tabular uh, format again. The blue here on the left is female managers. The brown here on the right is the male managers. If we go up to the top, we have the employee engagement index, which is 47. That's for female managers. Their employee net promoter score was minus 58.3. And you see the same scores, but for the male managers there on the right. So most of the data that you need is on this main uh, dashboard one. But if you wanted to see the uh, breakdown of how the employee net promoter score came about, you click on that tab at the bottom and here you have it. Female managers on the left, male managers on the right. If you would like to see all of the data again, but in a more compact format, you go to this overview tab and this is exactly what we saw on dashboard one. The colour coding again, red, amber, green, is to help guide you as to whether this was a poor, okay or uh, good uh, rating. Uh, it's just in a more compact format. Again, female managers and male managers are shown here side by side. The headlines tab, it, uh, simply in the interests of space, is only using the first filter, which was female managers. This shows you the statements that had the most positive responses, the most neutral and the most negative. And again, if you at any point want to change your filters, you just go back to dashboard one. You change those to, let's say, female non-managers and all of these tabs will change accordingly. Now, once you have more than one year's worth of data, you can uh, opt to not just see the current year's data on your dashboard, but to compare both years. 
So what do we have now? Well, now we have on the left hand side, filter one, which was female non-managers for both years are shown side by side. And we have male managers on the right for both years. So all of that data for two years in a row is shown side by side. Throughout this, you've probably seen a range of these arrows here. They happen to all be uh, amber arrows uh, on their side. What that means is that there is no statistically significant difference between either year on year or between those two filters. Here, though, we can see that there is a statistically significant difference, a drop between the female non-managers and the male managers, but year on year that did not change, hence the two amber arrows here. So all of the data and some guidance as to how an to analyze it is really uh, visible to you at any point. Now, if we want to go into a little more detail year on year, we click on the year on year tab. And now for the uh, first of our filters, which was, if you remember, female non-managers, we have the 2023 data against 2024 in that more compact uh, style. Again, the colors indicate whether those ratings are good, OK or poor. And if we want to see, well, which of the statements changed the most for that particular filter group year on year? Well, here we have this on the final tab. Those is, uh, at the top of the tab are the ones that improved the most, and these are the ones that fell the most. If you have any questions about the use of your dashboard, please get in touch.